minutes since I've seen you guys. It's been a while since I've done a video, but I'm back. I'm alive and kicking. And 2023, can you believe it? It's 2023 already. I am still living off-grid, 100% off-grid in far west Texas, the side of a mountain. Yes, Texas has mountains, but shh, we're going to keep that a secret. Living in a castle that PB built. PB's my husband. And Anyway, let me tell you what I've got going on right now. I have jumped on the Timu bandwagon, and if you have been on YouTube at all in the last month or two, you have seen something about Timu. I did an order, and it was a big order. It was a lot bigger than I wanted to do or that I was expecting to do, but dang, they keep giving me good deals and coupons and offers. So because this such a big order I'm gonna break this up into pieces otherwise we're gonna be sitting here for 30 minutes just talking about one piece of it I'm gonna break even that in half I've got kitchen goods I've got Dougie stuff I've got all kinds of really cool stuff here and it's a little bit different from what I've seen on some of the other Timu haul sites and uh, I'll tell you I'll, I'll give you uh, one of my favorite Timu haulers is called the cheap chick and she does other hauls and stuff too but I'll put a link down below to her so that you can follow her too she's a lot of fun to watch I got a coupon from her 30% off unfortunately you can only use it once I wish I could use them more than once but I guess they can't give this stuff away forever so Timu what is Timu that is a it's a conglomeration if I can even say that word a conglomeration of companies so it's kind of like wish it's what wish wishes it could be uh, they are so much better they took what wish was and they just ran with it made it a huge 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 thing and the products on there are so much better and faster with wish you had to wait a month oh my gosh you waited a month you forgot what you ordered because it was so long Timu gets your stuff to you within I'd say within two weeks easily about 10 days is I think the average and they do give you tracking and stuff will either come uh, through the regular mail or it'll come UPS. And sometimes they break up orders. If your order's too big, they'll break it up into smaller orders. Or if you have electronics, they'll a lot of times send those separately just to keep those safe and protected. And they'll send you all your other stuff separately. But they don't charge you any extra for that. In fact, they don't charge you anything for shipping right now. They may start in the future. I don't know. But right now, there is no shipping charges. Let me start out and tell you guys my order. <laughs> this is just the first order. I do have a second order in the works. Uh, but the first order was $205.14. Yes, I spent that much money. But there was a coupon. It took off $25 as 30% off coupon. And I was almost up to $200. And they kept telling me on the site... If I ordered just a little bit more, they would give me a $40 voucher off my next order. And there was no minimum for that. Can you believe that? No minimum for that. So let's get started. We're almost uh, a little over four minutes in here and I haven't even really shown you anything except this backdrop right here. This is a tapestry and it is 200 centimeters by 150 centimeters. And yes, I had to look that up to convert it. Uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> one of those Americans. Um, so in inches, it's 78.74 by 59 inches. And in feet, it's a uh, six and a little over six and a half feet by almost five feet. So this particular one is an old style map of the, the earth, like a globe. And uh, I like it. Actually, PB picked it out. It's really big. It covers this big old ugly wall that I got back here. And it's made out of, I think they said it was made out of polyester. It feels nice and soft. I hope it's washable, but you know what? If it's not, I'm good with it because I spent $9.98 on this thing. Yeah, under 10 bucks. Next thing I ordered, this is actually for Bob's son, grown son who has moved out here and is also living off grid on his own property. I'm so proud of him. I gotta tell you one thing, one little teeny weeny weeny little easy complaint that I have about this company is they send stuff in these big plastic bags. I have seen some of the Timu haulers have boxes, but I don't know what you got to order to get a box. 
right. <laughs> this right here. This is how this came. It was in a box inside that bag, and it was kind of like uh, the box was just kind of shredded. I didn't do this. They this happened in shipping the in the the bag. Well, I'm surprised the bag made it. They do double bag it. So, uh, but this gives you a little hint of what it is. It is a kettle, and is made out of stainless steel. We actually have one of these, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Bought it years ago, and uh, PB took it away from me, and he uses it to make coffee, or he, he boils his water. He does instant coffee. Please don't judge him, although I do. I judge him because I make real coffee. I make it. I buy the beans. I grind them. I have a mocha pot. I have an AeroPress. I have the little pour-over filters. I got, I got uh, the French press. I'm a coffee snob. I don't drink coffee every single day. Most days, though. To me, coffee's an event, more like a, more like a um, dessert. Uh, the way I drink it. But this is the the little pot. It's two liters, and I'm not gonna look that one up. But it comes with a lid. We've lost our lid a long time ago, but uh, Bob's son will have to lose this one himself or keep up with it. And Nice thing is the lid, the lid actually kind of kind of grips on there pretty good, so it won't fall off by itself. And it does come with this little thing to protect the tip. This particular style of kettle is called a pour over with this little thing right here. This is so that you can do like the pour over uh, coffees with uh, with the little funnel, and you put the coffee grounds in it. It looks like a filter. You put that on top of your coffee cup coffee mug or whatever you're going to drink out of and then you pour the water over this and you can uh you can control how much water comes out because just a little bit comes out it doesn't come flying out and it's really nice stainless steel that's what the inside looks like and that's what the bottom looks like right there so how much is this bad boy let's look and see 16.49 that's how much they are running right now I'm so excited about this. I have wanted one of these for the longest time. This is a Pullman loaf pan. And you make you bake bread in this. This little lid comes off. And there's the inside of it. it makes about a one pound loaf of bread. And it makes it square. Now, if you didn't put the lid on, the bread would puff up. And it would have like a dome. But you put this on, you slide it on, and it's noisy. You are not going to be doing stealth bread in this thing. So you, you slide this on, and then the bread rises up to here, and it can't go any farther. And then it's going to bake a nice square loaf of bread, which is really nice for slicing for, for sandwiches. And this slides on and off, nice and easy. And this was, let me check the price, $9.48 as of right now. I will tell you the prices do change on these things. They do go up and down. Really cool thing I learned after I made my order is that within seven days of your order shipping, I believe is when they said it was, if I read it correctly, if the price goes down, they will refund you the difference. You just got to ask for it. Um, they won't do it on their own, but you got to ask for it. And they will refund it back to the way you paid. So cool. It does have these three little holes in the bottom of it, as you can see. So this says it can do cakes. I would be concerned about pouring cake batter into here because I would think something that liquidy might pour through the holes. What I would do if I were going to do a cake in this or something with a looser batter is I would put a piece of parchment paper down in the bottom. And you do that anyhow when you're doing cakes, right? I do. Uh, just makes it easier, makes life easier. This says that it's non-stick. I don't know what the non-stick material is. It does have this little texture on it. I'm not crazy about non-stick stuff, mainly because it starts flaking and coming off. I'm hoping that this will hold up and not do that. It does not have the look of like the Teflons or you know the gray or silvery stuff that you see in in pots and pans. Um, so we'll see we will see on this this is let me get it pulled up on here so i can say the name correctly barista stirring needle a espresso things like that so it comes in this box and this is what the product looks like 
I'm probably going to store it in here, this little foam box, just to protect these little guys. These are little flexible needles. They're not sharp, but they are needles. This is made, feels like metal. Feels nice and heavy. It feels cold. So what you do, the way this works is you grind your coffee beans and you put your coffee beans. This is the inside part of a mocha pot. And if you've never used a mocha pot, that's a whole other experience, a whole other video. Look those up. Those are fun. But you put, you pour your grounds into here. But you don't want to pack them down. That's what they say. Don't pack them down. And so what you do is you take this little thing and you fill your, you fill it up to here with the coffee grounds. And then you put this in and you stir it around. And that evenly distributes the coffee grounds. And then you go on and make your coffee. I told you I was a coffee snob. Let me tell you the price. That one was $4.98. And they do come in three colors. It comes in a kind of a silvery color, a black, and a golden color. I don't know what golden is. It looks, it doesn't look shiny, but anyway, $4.98. I picked the black one because I just thought it looked best for me, my personal opinion. And that's all that is, is an opinion. So the next thing that I got is in this little box right here. It's a sealer. It's a little bag sealer. I have already taken this out and taken it apart, put batteries in it, and tried it. I did not want to sit there and fumble with this in front of y'all because we'd have been here all day. That's what it looks like right there. And that's the box that it comes in. And it does have it does have some directions, but the directions are kind of uh, they're a little difficult. So this does not come with batteries. Thank God I had some batteries. But it tells you to put number five batteries in it. Oh, what the heck are number five batteries? I had to look that up. Turns out they're double A batteries. Fortunately, I had some. So this little guy pops open right here. First time you do it, you're thinking you're gonna break it. But it pops open. And then this, this pops open right there. And there is the batteries that go in it. I think the next time I take these batteries out, when I change them out, I'm going to go in with a Sharpie marker and I'm going to mark the polarity on the bottom of this inside so that I don't mess up. Because I don't know what will happen if you mess up on this because this thing does heat up. So then you close it up nice and easy. This closes up right here. This has a nice little safety feature on here to keep that from accidentally getting pressed while you're not using it. I'll probably keep it in the box that it comes in just to keep it protected it does have a magnet down here on the bottom but the magnets are real wimpy i stuck it on a place where i keep magnets uh, my vena hood and it barely held while well, it did not have anything in it. well had to cut that off real fast hubby walked in for those of you who do this do you get self-conscious when there's somebody else in the room I do. Used to not be this bad, but it's been a while since I've done these videos, so uh, yeah, I get a little bit of self-conscious. So let's get back to this guy right here, dollar eighteen. That is dirt, 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 dirt cheap. This thing only lasts once. Okay, it's gonna last at least ten times. I'll feel like I got my money's worth out of it. And buck eighteen. Buck eighteen. So it is a sealing machine. I've already opened it and showed you how to put the batteries in it. I have showed you this little safety feature on here. And uh, this right here. This here is the money part. This is the part that heats up. And it will only heat up. This part does not heat up. It's just the other side to it. The only way this can heat up is if you press this hard enough that this gets pressed down inside, which is what this little safety thing is for. Let's give it a try. So we have these chocolate chips here. If you can see the bag has been opened. I haven't eaten any of them, not one, not one, not one. But I want to get it sealed up before somebody does get into it. So what you do is put this, put this on here. I want to do it about halfway. I'm going to press and I'm going to slide this. If you do it too slow, it will melt the plastic and it will actually come off. It'll still be sealed, but 
I don't know if that's the whole point or not, but you just press and slide. So we're going to hold it, turn it this way, kind of put it like this, and we're going to slide the rest of it. See how it kind of starts to kind of cut it a little bit? It's okay. Another thing we're planning on doing with this, and by the way, this is hey, sealed. See, no, no chocolate chips fell out. Sorry, puppies. No chocolate chips fell out. It is perfectly sealed. Another thing we're going to do with this is we live in a castle and we have flags. We got flags everywhere. So one of the things that PB does is I will buy a big solid color flag, like a three by five, I think is the size that I get. And uh, so like the long ends here and the short ends here, so it would fly out like this. Take it and we cut it in half long ways and then he cuts a little V-shape mark out of it and he makes two banners. Um, these flags are made out of nylon and they have to be sealed. The edges have to be sealed. So I think this will do that. I think this will seal the edges of that nylon without doing damage to it. It'll seal it. You can either just seal it as one layer or maybe fold it over and seal it as two layers. I don't know how fussy he wants to get with this, but what the idea is to keep this from being frayed, all fuzzy on the edges. The wind out here in West Texas, in the mountains, blows our flags to bits in no time. A day like today, we had a really windy day, super windy and super uh, kind of cold. I am right now, it's like 40 degrees. That's not really cold, but we had a snow last night. We had a, like a, I'd say like a half inch to an inch maybe. It was real kind of dry, powdery stuff. I think it's all gone now or mostly gone. Maybe up in the, in the higher mountains, there might still be some. And if there is, I might throw a picture in here. If you see a picture, it's because it's still there. But I've got a lot more stuff here. And I'm going to cut this off and make this uh, hopefully about a 20 minute video, 15 or 20 minute video. I am so glad to be back and I am so glad to have you here. Leave me a comment. Let me know uh, how you found me. Did you find me because of bike stuff or because of off grid stuff? I do e-bikes um, and I do a lot of reviews. I haven't done any in a long, 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 long time. I kind of quit doing them for a while. But I'd like to get back into doing reviews again. So I've got more kitchen stuff that I'm going to do another video on. Got dog stuff. I've got all kinds of really cool stuff. Some flags, things like that. Some Even some car stuff that is supposed to be pet stuff, but it's really for your car. So I'll tell you about that in a future video. But anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you being here. And uh, leave me a comment. Tell me, uh, tell me how you found me. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what you want to see. So uh, thank you. Sarita Off Grid signing off. Bye-bye.